Crashing crypto isn't the early Christmas present we asked for, but it's what we got. This week, it's all about Bitcoin. And if you're wondering what's up with the markets, we're about to explain everything you need to know. I'm your host, Leia Heilpern, and this is the Exodus Crypto News. In case you hadn't noticed, Bitcoin crashed by $10,000 in an hour, from $52,000 all the way down to $42,000, faster than you can get through the grocery store on a Sunday evening. So what caused the crash? Mostly, it seems like there was a lot of fear in the stock market that spilled over into crypto. In particular, there were a lot of concerns about the new Omicron variant, as well as the Federal Reserve raising interest rates. That's all it took to spook some investors out of their Bitcoin positions. Now, the problem is that as soon as these investors started selling, it forced a lot of leverage traders to liquidate their Bitcoin as well. When a position gets liquidated, the coins are sold into the market. This selling pressure drives prices down, which forces more liquidations and so on and so on. It's a self-reinforcing feedback loop and it explains how Bitcoin went down so fast. Most people who were selling into the crash were selling because they had to, not because they wanted to. In total, $2.5 billion worth of crypto longs were liquidated in just 24 hours. Although it's surprising how fast the crash happened, it's definitely not unprecedented. Bitcoin analyst Bob Lucas pointed out in a recent tweet that Bitcoin drops 30% or more at least three times a year, even in a bull market. Benjamin Cowan has said that he doesn't think that this flash ended the bull market, and many other analysts on Twitter and YouTube have said the same thing. What have we got to be thankful for? Well, a new survey by Grayscale has shown that 25% of investors already own Bitcoin. Looking at markets, we already have to ask, after the crash we just had, what's going to keep the bull run going? Well, inflation is high and it isn't showing any signs of slowing down. There's also another $1 trillion infrastructure bill on its way, and surprise surprise, surprise, we can't afford it. Another point that Rappel keeps making is that a lot of institutions want to buy crypto, but they're waiting until next year to do it. If that turns out to be the case, it means that the bull market could restart once we reach the other side of the new year. So even though Bitcoin just had a heck of a crash, we've still got a lot going for us. Waiting a few more months for 100K might be annoying, but all the best people are saying this bull run still has ways to go. And that's good news for everyone in crypto right now. As always, thank you so much for watching everyone. We have a lot more videos for you, so just click any of these to keep watching. Until next time, hodl on.